all right so what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and as you can see we have the very first sneak peek for the june update in marvel future fight and it is going to be a falcon and winter soldier themed update now looking at this i can tell you i am very excited and it seems like the majority of the player base feel the same so far however i'm not too sure if i wanted falcon and winter soldier to be like a full update i felt like this update um should have been like a mid-month patch kind of like scarlet witch and vision however i feel as though if they're gonna make this a full update they probably are going to be buffing people like uh, Baron Zemo. They're definitely going to be buffing um, Sharon Carter. And they're probably going to be adding in at least one new character to go along with Falcon and Winter Soldier. Because otherwise, this cannot carry a full month worth of content. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see what they decide to do. However, I am very much so excited to see falcon and winter soldier get touched because they're among the worst characters in the game and to be honest we haven't had a speed character get a buff in a while i know corvus just got a change to a speed type but originally he was a universal type so it would be nice to see like a nice new speed tier 3 that is very very strong we haven't had a speed tier 3 since daredevil and that was a couple months ago we've had a couple universals since then and i think we've had one blast with ebony ma well ebony ma is like a type change and stuff so it's kind of confusing but for sure for sure we needed another speed tier 3 i was actually talking about that with a couple people in my alliance yesterday saying the next um tier 3 native the next uh war boss legend that they add should be a speed version just so we can use up more speed books so it's nice that um falcon is going to get touched he's natively a speed type so we'll be using speed books this month in case you're wondering why i'm jumping the gun and saying he's getting a tier 3 it's not really that big of a stretch if you take a look on the right hand side here you can see a t you can see the shield for captain america you can see the stars it's three stars it's a t it's tier three and as the trailer goes on you can just see different things about him so right down here it says sam wilson obviously the wilson is cut off that's his shield that's a part of his uh, armor his outfit whatever on the wall and as you keep going throughout the trailer you see different things like go cap and then you can see sam's face on the left hand side here that gets faded out so basically this whole trailer is about sam and him getting his tier three winter soldier already has tier three so it goes without saying that if they're gonna make a tier three trailer and it's falcon and winter soldier then it's gonna be a falcon tier three i don't care how anybody feels about it it is what it is at this point a tier three character and awakening character there is no difference well there is a difference in terms of the materials you use but in terms of power level a tier three character can be strong or an awakened character can be strong so it doesn't even matter just look at uh super giant right she's absolutely amazing and then look at proxima she's amazing in her own right so regardless of what these characters get at this point i'm happy with it i just like to see justice for some iconic characters and that's what i'm hoping that they give to my man sam wilson here because honestly he hasn't been touched since i believe 2017 so that's quite some time that's almost four years i might have to check the exact date of his last uniform but it's coming close to four years anyways to go along with falcon right they're probably going to be giving us a uniform for baron zemo which honestly zemo is a big disappointment these days he is basically just a leadership for squad battle abx and i guess maybe if you want to use him to buff your villains if you have an insight on him you can use him in ac so it would be interesting to see what they do um they're probably going to add something for sharon carter and i guess they might add us agent as a new character but let's check out the rest of the sneak peek and we'll talk some more so over here on twitter they said sam wilson wields the shield as the new captain america in the v720 update inspired by marvel studios the falcon and the winter soldier so pretty straightforward like i said this whole thing is just telling us that he's getting his moment he's getting his big power up we jump over here to the future fight forums and we have a message from cm fragment it's very very short it says the symbol of justice takes fight shouldn't it say flight <laughs> hello <laughs> where's the l bro the, the symbol of justice takes fight okay 
Anyways, the symbol of justice takes flight. Uh, please welcome the new superhero who wields the shield. The shield that strikes from above. Okay. So let's see what else they have to say here. The new look of Captain America soars above the skies. Search the hints that symbolizes other changes with him. Um, what other changes? He's just flying around with the shield. Like, what other changes? In the trailer, all I really saw was just this new outfit. And basically, Falcon is always flown around. So he's just basically flying around with the shield. Cool and all, but uh, it's not really anything out of left field. It's kind of what we expect. Because we've seen Falcon in the comics with the Captain America mantle. I haven't watched the uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier uh, TV show. Don't crucify me. I just don't have time. Your boy been busy. It is what it is, right? I still haven't watched episode two of Loki yet. So don't crucify me, boys. I'll get there when I get there, <laughs> right? But anyways, I didn't really see anything that stood out to me out of the ordinary, out of what you would expect for Falcon in the trailer. Moving on, though, let me just say this. Um, none of you guys should be going out of your way to build Falcon now. Just wait. Again, I always like to say this. Whenever a character is getting touched, you do not know what they're getting. You do not know how their play style is going to be changing. You do not know if there's going to be any new mechanics that affect the way how they operate or interact with the game. So even something as simple as giving them Urus might not be the wisest idea. Because let's say, for example, they do something like we've never seen before. Well, I guess we've seen it before with the Hulk, right? But remember how before Hulk got this uniform, you'd want to give him physical attack Urus. Whereas with the Mortal Hulk uniform, he's based off HP. Everything he does is a reflection of his HP. So his HP makes him more tanky. Having more HP makes him hit harder because all of his skills, they're a percentage of his HP, right? So even something as simple as giving him physical attack Urus or giving him more crit damage, more crit rate, more dodge, just, just leave them and wait until next week and see how this character changes. They have to touch him in a big way because he has one of the worst uniform bonuses I've ever seen. Like this thing is so bad, I don't even know what it does, <laughs> right? 40% chance when attacking physical damage, 58% uh, of physical attack. Like, come on. Like, I know what it says it does, but like, really? <laughs> like, you can tell this is an old uniform. Like I said, this uniform is dated. Now, in this uniform, he does have four iframes, which is, back in the day, this was really good. It shows how far we've come and how much the game has changed. Because when this uniform came out, it was a big upgrade for him. Like, the, he had bind, he had four different iframes, a couple of them being long iframes at that. So... Yeah, this uniform was pretty good. And I still use this uniform to this day, every week in Shadowland. However, the damage on this uniform for like World Boss Ultimate content is abysmal. I might, I might invest in him and do some pre-update gameplay stuff so I can kind of benchmark him. And then that way when the update drops with a new uniform, I can uh, kind of compare how much he's improved. However, we've seen how amazing the uniforms has been for the last like seven months, like actually maybe more than that, right? They've just basically taken the characters from zero to like a million plus ultra, right? It's crazy. So I'm expecting something similar for um, both Falcon and Winter Soldier, because if you look at this man's kit, he has one of the worst tier two passives in the game. 25% chance when hit to become immune to damage for five seconds. This is the kind of stuff. <laughs> like this is the kind of stuff that characters get like as, as a part of their regular kit right just regular basic characters these days you just do like um for example like luke cage right you press his third skill and you get five seconds of damage immunity it's a hundred percent guaranteed this man has a 25 percent chance <laughs> to become immune to damage when he's hit um every 15 seconds you can see like this game has come a long way this passive was made in 2015 bro this is this is this is sad okay so this has to be changed to something absolutely spectacular like the fact that he doesn't even have skill damage and bonus damage which is a very typical thing that they give to characters as a part of like their tier two passive like tier one characters usually somewhere in their tier two passive they get skill damage and bonus damage they get something like extra crit rate extra crit damage well not not too often you see crit damage but you usually see extra crit rate or extra guaranteed dodge or some extra dodge or something like even his four star passive <laughs> look at this four star passive 
1.5% increase to all speed. Yeah. This this is this is sad, bro. This man is down extra bad. Right? You know how the meme is you're down bad? Nah, he's down extra bad. Like his leadership is trash, his four-star passive is trash, his tier two passive is trash. He has like one effect on his skill, which is the bind, and then everything else is just damage, 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 and not that much damage, even at that. Four iframes and basically a bind for three seconds is literally the only thing that Falcon has in his kit. So outside of Shadowland, he's just pure and utter garbage. <laughs> <laughs> it is sad right so this man needs to get something like accumulation he needs to get healed he needs to get crit rate buffs crit damage buffs all attack buffs they gotta they kind of have to reach into their bag and they kind of have to give him the the medusa treatment i would say like look at medusa's uh third skill where they give her like 70 percent all attack they give her a bunch of crit rate like they give her immunity they give her a heal like he needs to get a skill like medusa right because otherwise man he's he's gonna still be down bad after this update but i have faith here's the thing i have faith there was a time when i kind of like expected these guys to just shaft every character but like lately especially after the uh black order update where every single member of the black order were just really good now one could say it's because they're tier two natives and they're supposed to natively just be very strong like far above regular tier one characters like falcon or maybe it's because those characters cost more resources so eventually they would basically force you in a situation where you run out of uh, materials and you have to buy so maybe that's why they're strong but either way we've seen great things from them so i have faith right we've seen an iron fist become like literally a god tier character we've seen Luke cage become the nightmare of ac and he's a monster for pvp overall we've seen moon knight rise to the top of the game right we've seen call obsidian who was at one point one of the worst tier two natives literally become one of the best so like i have faith in these guys i really do so even though this man's kit is bare bones as it comes i feel as though they will do some proper testing and they will give us something spectacular because in the speed category we don't have too much if he can if they can make him better than bullseye i think that's the benchmark now honestly i do think that the benchmark for how strong falcon needs to be to be someone worth investing in after he gets his tier three i think he needs to be like at least bullseye level i don't think that's too much to ask for right i think bullseye is strong but he's not that strong so i feel like yeah bullseye level definitely is the bare minimum i don't even want to touch winter soldier because uh, that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother video i'll wait to see when they drop his uniform and what they say about it because um at one point this guy was hailed as one of the best characters in the game look at him now so we'll see what happens um we're gonna wrap it up right here thank you guys so much for watching leave me your thoughts in the comments are you excited for falcon and winter soldier i feel as though captain america might get another uniform which again i really really think i could do without like i really do think you can do without another captain america uniform but we will see what they decide to do i won't go in too much detail about that but we'll see what they decide to do all right so i'll catch you guys in the next one be safe peace out